Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we are going to make some of these today. This, I think, was made by Katie, if I'm not mistaken. If you made it, let me know if I'm wrong. Um, but it was made by one of you and sent to me, and I was looking at it this morning, and I thought that would be cool to make some of those for our journals. Now, this is, if I'm not mistaken, that is just Christmas wrapping paper that they made this with. I don't have any wrapping paper here right at the moment. As a matter of fact, I'm out and I have to get some to wrap presents with. But we're going to make it out of just some digitals that I have found. Now, I've started the new journal. This is the, um, I think this is my last Christmas journal. And this one is Sandy Harris. So, Sandy, I'll be working on this this weekend and should have it ready by, by mid-next week anyway. Uh, I've got to put some lace and different things on the front, but I did stitch it with my red thread, and I love it. It To me, it just helped enhance those red snowflakes on there. And we are using my lace, uh, Cardinal Lace Kit. This is the Cardinal lace kit yeah so we're using this kit and i absolutely love that little girl she's going to be my front page and on the back i printed the lace the background it's in that same kit so i've got about 21 pages here that i'll be putting together and putting in and then i found well i didn't find somebody sent me this big lace i think it was you barbara maybe or Mar mary I'm not sure which. Anyway, you sent me this big, tall lace, and I thought that would be fantastic for a big pocket. We put some deep things in there. You know, I always try to include a writing board, so I'm going to put that in there. This one is nice and crunchy. It's got our bubble wrap mailer in there. So we'll be putting that together. I'll probably stitch the signature in this weekend, and then we'll start working on it next week. But I thought I could use some papers that goes with the kit to make some of these. I might, I want two for each journal, so I might do that. So what I did is I went ahead and, and made one just to see if I could make it. See if I knew what I was doing. So you have a pocket on this side and then you have a pocket in here. And then your paper clip is right there. So when you clip this on a page, just say we was clipping it here when you clip that on a page on this side you have the paper clip but you could always stick something else like a tag or something under that paper clip on your other page so now you can cover your paper clip up if you want I don't mind mine showing it doesn't bother me I have the let's see how big these are I think they're two inch yeah, these are the two inch paper clips. I have a few of those. So that's what I'm going to use on this one. Now, I just pulled out some different papers, Christmas paper. And I did go ahead and you can tell that was when my printer was running out of ink. I did go ahead and measure this for you just in case you want to know what size it is. The paper is eight and a half by five and a quarter. Now, you can make them any size you want. Doesn't matter as long as you just fold it up, it's fine. And then I scored at two and a quarter that way, and then I just folded that one back over so that when I folded this one back, you just had about the same amount of space on each side here. So, see, we folded two and a quarter here, and then this one you want to fold almost up to where this one ends. So just fold it like that. And then I just kind of played around and made sure that it kind of come up just about the same on either side. So you've got just a little stack thing going on there. You can see how it's folded. But if you want to know the exact measurements, I will try to give them to you. Get something out of my eyeball. Okay, so this is scored at two and a quarter. And then if you want to know where this other one is scored, let me do this. Two and a quarter and and four and three quarters. So two and a quarter, four and three quarters. And then 
Let's see. There's the line. Looks like it is close to right at six and seven eighths is where I scored that one. But like I said, you don't have to go by all that. I'll show you how I just kind of play around with it and fold it up. I'm going to make one that's a little bit shorter. I didn't want to cut my little girl in two here. So I saved her and I just made one a little bit shorter. It's the same width, eight and a half, but this one is just four inches. And it sure doesn't look like I cut that straight at all. Four. Yeah, it's not straight. It's eighth off. Let me get my trimmer and fix it. Well, you know what? I'll fold it and then I'll fix it. Because I always have to fix it after I fold it anyway. Now, I'm going to... You could fold different ways. You could start on this end and fold in whichever way you want. I think I'm going to fold it this way. So, I don't, I don't really measure. You guys know I'm not a measurer. But, I know a lot of you ask me, can you please tell me the measurements? I know there's people that, you know, my, my youngest daughter included, that can't make anything unless they know the measurements. But, um, now I'm just kind of, I do this way, and I just kind of look at it. And see, that's going to get me about halfway each one of these is going to have about the same on either side. So I'm going to fold that one right there. And then I'll just bring this one back over and fold it right there. And I'll have to cover this, of course, because it didn't print right on my printer because I was running out of ink. And I was printing on my little printer. And it doesn't tell you when it's running out of ink. It just keeps going. It's that little cheap one I got. But now my big one, it'll stop when it's running low on ink. It won't keep printing. So there it is. So we just folded that one in. This one back over, leaving just a little bit of room between the end of this and that. So two and a quarter, four, what did we say? Four and a quarter. Uh, no, four and... Four and seven eighths and then this one you just fold back just enough to leave the, the there's a half inch there and almost a half inch on that side doesn't have to be perfect just fold it you don't have to be perfect nobody in this world is perfect even if they tell you they are okay that is our fold now we're going to take a paper clip and the small part of the paper clip is going to go in here. This is going to be like your back. So the small part would go in there, right in the center. Like that. But before we put that in there, I want to tie either some ribbon, some lace, something on it. What am I going to tie? I think I'll use this. This is just some sheer lace that we've had laying around here. Actually, it was laying in the floor over there by somebody's desk, and I just grabbed it up out of the floor. So we're going to tie a piece of this. You can use lace, string, seam binding, whatever you want. On that other one, I use seam binding. This one, I'm just going to use this. Well, I say I am. This is very slick. Very, very slick. Okay. Now, with this paper clip being slick and this being slick, the chances of that staying tied is like one in a million. So I am going to put a little drop of glue under there. Just, I'm just going to put it right under my little fold there. Well, there, get off of that. So I just put a drop and that way it doesn't show through. And I just use my little towel to scrunch it up and then we're just going to cut these at an angle and there is our paper clip part done now I'm going to take this and put, I think Melina has done some of these somebody has done some I know on video I just happened to see that one when I was cleaning out a drawer this morning and I thought oh I gotta make some of those I think they're pretty in a journal so I've got it about halfway in between and it doesn't have to be perfect guys don't try to be perfect 
Now I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac and I'm just going to go around that paper clip and on top of it just so that it'll hold in place no matter what I do to it. And then this one, this flap on the left hand side, you're going to glue that all the way down. That's going to glue right over that paper clip and it will hold it nice and tight there. Just use my bone folder and go on each side. So we've got that, the paper clip already enclosed there. Now on this one, you're just going to put your glue at the top and at the bottom, right there. And you're going to fold that over, just like that. So we've created this little pocket here. And then on this one, same thing, you're going to glue it at the top and at the bottom. I almost had to take that, that one apart that was sent to me to see how it was folded. I kept putting my fingers in there and feeling and feeling. Okay, so there it is. It's, it's done, it's finished. These are a little bit long for me. I'm gonna trim them off again. There we go. Now, it's not finished because I want to decorate it. I did go ahead and decorate this one and I put crinkle seam binding in it and a little bit of lace at the bottom. So I need to cover all of this because like I said, my printer went crazy. So let's find some scraps and see what we want to cover it with. Is that the right? That is almost the right width right there. So I might just use that. Okay, I have to tell y'all a story. You say that you like my stories, so I'm going to continue to tell them if I can. I bought some plugins yesterday. If you need, I know you know what plugins are. It's the little smelly things that you refill them and they plug in your wall supposed to make your house smell wonderful well I swear I bought those things and got home plugged one in and it literally made me sick at my stomach I'm telling you sick headache I, had, I don't know what it was it the scent smelled different you know that your little scratch and sniff thing on those the scent smelled different in the store but when I got home and plugged it in I literally almost threw up. I was so sick. My head was hurting, so I <laughs> plugged them in. I put them out in the garage, so somebody will have to either take them or I'll throw them away. But, oh my goodness, it was called cashmere wood. It's supposed to have a, a Christmassy smell to it. Well, if Christmas smells like that, I don't want to be around it. I have very sensitive nose when it comes to smelling things like that. And big strong smells make me sick at my stomach so I just don't like I can't go in Bath and Body Works I can't go in Bath and Body Works I literally get a sick headache if I do I have to stay out of that place so Melina was like mother I can't believe you bought I, I think they were like ten dollars for all of my bought and then you can't even use them I said that's just the way it goes but I don't care I said I don't I don't even want to try to get my money back on them. If, you're, if you don't want them, if you don't like them, we'll throw them in the garbage. I can't stand it. I don't know what exactly is in it that made me nauseated. But it's not a smell that I can handle. I know that much. But that was my little trivia for today and yesterday. I could even smell it this morning when I got up and I thought I had you know, fumigated my house enough that it didn't still smell, but it does. All right, there is one. Let's just look at it if we put it on, let's say there. Look at that, isn't that cute? And then you can put little, you can put some little tags in this side and little tags in that side or a little note. You can hide a little note in there. That is cute, I like that. I like that little tag in there too. So that's how quick and easy these are to make. Now I went ahead and folded this one a little while ago. It's a little bit longer, but it's the same width paper. That's all you do, right there. 
and I'm inking with Barn Door because the Cardinal Lace is going to be a lot of red. So I thought I would ink with Barn Door and then if I need to ink anything in the journal, I'll use my pine needle. That's what I was hoping that it would smell like. More like <clears throat> more like pine needle or pine something, you know, Christmassy. But no. Mm -mm. And maybe I'm just getting so old that I don't like the smell of things anymore. I don't know. That could be it too. Let's see. We'll have to cover that. But what uh, what do we want to put in our clip here? Let's do a little bit of this red. I think this is like a cranberry red. And it could just be my allergies, my sinuses, because they have been messed up for a while. So it could be that. Making me more sensitive. You put your little piece of fabric or whatever you're going to put on the end that doesn't have the double loop. Leave the double loop down there. I think I just told you wrong. If I forget to cut that out, just ignore me. Okay, cut that off just a tiny bit. Doesn't have to be cut too short. <clears throat> and then you're going to put your smallest little loop on the inside. Work right there. And then go ahead and glue this one down. Okay, got that there. And then this one folds over, but all we glue is right here at the top and at the bottom. Like that. And then this one, same thing. Glue at the top and at the bottom. Well, I didn't even decorate that one, did I? You could uh, leave that and decorate it. Um, let me see what I've got to go on it, and I'll decide if I want to leave it. Just grab some of these little pieces out, and we'll see what we can do with these. Okay, I don't particularly care for that. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to put a little piece of book page just a short ways down through there. Maybe not all the way. But I'm not, uh, that background is just a little bit too busy for me. Maybe I'll just use this. Yeah, I'm just going to use that. It's just a piece of scrap that was laying here. think it looks like it's pretty straight. Maybe not exactly. Uh, it's not exactly. Let's trim it off just a little right here. And I am just centering it a little bit. There we go. Now we can put something on there and maybe it won't look so busy. What about this one? I don't mind that. I think I might put that little tree on there. I want to get rid of that white around it, so I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of green ink. I know this ink doesn't look green on camera. It looks a little bit more green in person, but it, I mean, it's not the exact color green of the tree. But I'm just going to trim a little of this off. Just a little. And I'll cut this part out because you guys know how to trim. There we go. I cut a good bit of the white off. I didn't get it all, but that's okay. I colored the rest of it in. So I think I'm going to put the tree right there. And then this little piece up here maybe. I'm going to do some simple decorating on these. Because I can always go back when I put them in, in the journal that they go in and add things to or take things away, whatever. 
well, I can't necessarily take things away, but I can add two. There we go. Now, I like that. And two little pockets. This one we didn't put anything on, so let's put a little bit of something on there anyway. Some things just stand out way too much. What about this little girl? No, she doesn't exactly go. Okay, I think I'm going to try to use one of Katie's flowers that she sent me. She made these and sent them to me last year. Oh yeah, I like that on there. And then we may just put a label on it. Grab my labels. I got little bits and pieces of things all over the place. Nope. Let's see. Yeah, we'll have to put green on here. And I'm going to trim this one off as much as I can at the top and, well, on either end. And then I'm just going to cut the little corners at an angle just so that it'll maybe go on there a little bit better. There we go. And I'm going to just crinkle it up a little bit. And I'm going to glue down this part and this part and leave the middle sticking up just a little bit. This doesn't have to slide into a pocket, so it's going to be fine glued like that. And I'll show you a close-up of it in just a minute. There we go. You see how I just got that little bit pumped up in the center? I like that. Okay, I'm just going to make one more of the paper clips and then I want to use some of our rice paper and I'm going to make some other things with some rice paper. So if you want to know how to use rice paper, just hang on. Let me get this one other one made here. Now on these, I didn't put the lace at the bottom, but I will put the lace on when I start to put them in my journal. That way I'll know what, what color lace I'm going to use. Now this one is eight and a half tall. Um, I really don't want it that tall, so I think I'm going to cut it off. Well, I'm going to have to use my big trimmer. I don't know why I grabbed that one when I want to cut a big piece, because it will not work. I've got everything falling. It's okay. Let's go to eight and a half here. This way. That'll make a good belly band. And then I think this way I may just cut it. Let's cut it at five and a half. And yeah, I'm gonna cut the little birds off. I'll use that as a little pocket. That'll be cute. Before I cut, I try to decide how the piece that I'm leaving is going to affect me, if it is going to affect at all. Now that looks pretty even. Did you let it slide? Not, maybe not too much. All right, what are we going to, I'm going to fold it this way first. Now this one I'm not going to measure, and I'm going to show you that you can just fold. You don't have to measure. I'm going to fold it, and I'm putting a very thin crease in there. That way, if I have to redo it, I can, and I won't have big creases all over. So then we'll fold it back up that way, just, just barely. And then just fold this one enough that I have a, the same amount of space on both sides here. And of course, this is a single-sided paper, so I will definitely have to cover that, but that's no problem. Now let's see if I've got it folded straight at all. I'm just going to burnish them down. And then I have to look at it this way. It does look a little crooked. You can use your scoreboard. Don't You don't have to try to do like I'm doing. Now I'm just going to trim off both ends. This one I just tore it, so I'm gonna, I want it to be evened up a little bit. And then this one, that's why I wait until after I fold them to trim because my folding sometimes is off. And you can always adjust it like this. 
All right, what? I think we want to put this dark green in this one, maybe. You think? Yeah. All of my seam binding comes from my scrap cabin shop, and I do have a discount code. I will link that below and the code. Remember, put this on the end of the paper clip that doesn't have the double little folds there. All right. There we go. This paper clip has the ridges on it, so I don't think it's gonna, that piece is gonna slide. So I'm gonna leave it like it is. We're gonna glue it on here anyway. Whoops, not the big one, Edith, the little one. There we go. And you can make your paper thicker. This is just regular copy paper thickness, but it seems to work just as well. And then I'm going to glue all around through here. Sorry if you can hear that. That is an airplane going over my house, going to the airport. Okay. And it sounds like it's flying really low. Put a little glue down through there and a little glue down through here. These are so easy to make, but they're so cute, I think. And I got glue on my little seam binding. That glued down. And now we need to put a little piece of paper down through here. Now we can use the same paper if we want, but I'd rather use something a little bit different. I don't want to use that same paper. Let's see what scraps I have right here. I got quite a few little scraps. We could use that piece. It is actually the right length. Let's see what else we have. I think that one's going to be it. Let's try this one up there, see how it looks. I think I'm actually going to use this one, even though it's, it's tall, I can cut it off because it's got a little of that blue in there. And we're going to cut it right there. Presley messaged me a little while ago and she said, Nana, don't forget, we'll come over and wrap your presents for you. Because I know you don't like to wrap them and we love it. And I said, okay. And she said, when do you want me to come? And I said, well, I'll have to buy some first. <laughs> she said, Nana, you don't have anything bought? I said, well, a couple, but not enough to start wrapping yet. They're little things. So she thought she was going to get to come over here right now and do some wrapping. I'm going to go ahead and round my corners. I don't know that I did it on those other ones, but I am on this one. I said I should have some things coming in before long and that I have ordered and you can come over and wrap for me. She does such a good job wrapping presents. And I, that's one of, another one of those things that I dislike. I'm not really good at it, and I really don't want to get good at it. <laughs> Some people really enjoy wrapping presents. That's just not me. Whit used to say, he'd say, just put them in a bag and stick them under the tree, because he hated wrapping too. And you know, he never, never, ever helped me wrap all the kids' presents and all of that until the year before he passed away and he helped me wrap everything that year. I don't he just jumped right in and started helping me. I don't know what that was, but all those years that I we, I had the babies and he didn't want to help me wrap and then that one well it was a year before last now. He uh, he jumped in and helped me wrap all the presents for all the grandkids and kids. I said I even took a picture and sent it to the girls. I said, look, your daddy's wrapping presents. They was like, no, what have you done to him? All right, I like that. It's a little bit of a contrast, but it still goes. Now, what are we gonna put on here? I'm thinking another one of these, and then maybe 
some kind of label. I might even put a little bit of, I've got a little piece of oh, vellum here. Ooh, I like to, forgot it, forgot what it was called. I used to use vellum every day that I crafted and I kind of got away from it. I need to go back to using it. I've got a lot in my drawer. Yeah, let's just put that down there. And I'm instead of dragging my art glitter glue out, I'm just going to use my glue stick on it. But the art glitter glue will put this down without leaving a big residue behind it. But so with so will these glue sticks. I don't know about other glue sticks now, so let's see. Get another one of these. I just think these little flowers are so pretty. Katie had to have really had patience to do these. And I wonder where Katie is. Does anybody know? Has anybody heard from her? I haven't heard from her in forever, and I don't know how to get in touch with her. Let's see. I think I want something else on there, though. Dig through my little bucket of goodies here. We could cut the ends off of that and put that there, and that would match that black writing back there. And it doesn't hurt to let the pieces stick over a little bit. All you have to do is just don't glue those, those extra little pieces down. I might do that. I really need a lighter one, but I don't think I have a lighter one. There's one. A little bit lighter. Yeah, I like that one better. Now those are just some little Tim Holtz pieces there. Let's trim this little tag off. Label, not tag. Okay, that should fit better. I, I tend to turn all of my pieces the same way, so I have to remind myself to turn them opposite. There we go, and then we'll put the little flower, what do you say, maybe in between. And we'll still have our vellum showing right there. So I'm gonna only going to run this right in the middle. Oh, that's got music notes on it too. Hmm. I had not noticed that. So we'll put that down there. And then let's put the little Christmas, Merry Christmas across here. We'll turn it opposite and then I think my little flower can go let's see oh I think I want it there right on the edge of that and there we go and we've got our little pocket on this side oh that I have almost glued together there we go how did I glue that together there. Little pocket there and little pocket there. Cute. And I may make some little tags to go in those later on when I start to put them in a journal. Let me get everything I need to use the rice paper and then we'll get started using this. And we'll make some things. I have one of our small paper bags and these are the ones that don't have the gusset in them. And I like to use these for pockets on the inside of my journal. I stitch them in here in the signature and then I have a pocket here and a pocket here on different pages. So I'm going to use some rice paper and I've got this rice paper that is in the store and I've already used one of them as you can see. Now I don't take them out of the plastic before I cut them if they're like this. I just cut around what I want to use and use it. If they're full then you know you can wet it a little bit and tear it or whatever you want but when those are the little circles like that, I don't, I do not cut them out. I mean, I do not tear the whole page. I just leave the rest of it in the plastic. It makes it a little bit easier to save it and without it getting messed up in my stash. I'm going to use some of this 1800s book page put down first because I want a little bit of background not just the brown paper bag. Just a little bit. Let's see. 
how much I need to tear off. I may have to tear off some on the other side. I'll just go ahead and tear this. There we go. Now, I'm going to put that down right there. Uh, I think I'm going to ink around it a little bit. Just going to use some of this green. And then we will use our glue stick and put this page down. So we have quite a few pieces of the, the Christmas rice paper left. So if you want some, grab it before it's all gone. Because we won't be ordering any more Christmas rice paper. Alright. I'm just going to make sure that's down well and that my folds are straight. Straight-ish. Now, which one do I want to put on? Ooh, I like that one. I think I'll use that one. Now, I don't wet this since I'm cutting the plastic and all. I don't wet it and cut it out. I just cut it out. Because I'm probably going to trim around the piece anyway. I don't think I want that extra little stuff around there so I'm going to trim around my little wreath just with my scissors and you have to be kind of careful because the rice paper does cut real easy and you could cut it all the way through in heartbeat now if you want to use those pieces you can I'm just not using them on this but I would use them on something else if I was making a tag or something like that I could always use them and you can just do a rough cut because once you get this down it's gonna be fine you can cover whole pages with rice paper if you want there we go so I think let's see I don't necessarily want it in the middle because I don't really want to center things so I may put that there and then put something else up here, like a label or something. I don't know. I kind of like it centered. Hmm. Normally I don't like it centered. Still got plenty of room. So what do you think? Center? No center. I think I'm going to center it. See how it looks. Now this is just a cheapo dollar store paintbrush. And I take my Barely Arts glue and I just squirt some on the paintbrush. You could squirt some out on your mat or whatever. And then I paint on the back of it, that glue. You can use Art Glitter Glue too. I don't know, I don't think it would show through, but I, I can't be certain. You'd probably just need to try it on a little piece. And then bring this back over and put it down right there and that's it and if you see any places that you fail to glue you can go over the top and just glue those places down but that is how quick and easy a piece of rice paper is, is to put down and so you can see that writing through there. Isn't that pretty? I didn't get that exactly straight, but not going to worry. Um, let's see. I have another little piece here left from last year. It's kind of crinkly. That's why I said I don't really take them out of the plastic before I use them. Because if I do, then I end up messing them up. Now this is pink and not red, but we're going to see if we can use it anyway. I'm just going to use a piece of it like that. And like I said, if you want to, you can tear these by, you know, wetting them a little bit like you would a napkin. I, don't, I wish Stamparia wouldn't put their little Stamparia on the part that you need to use. 
I know they have to label them somehow, but I have to cut that out. I think I put it right there. I'll just have to cut part of that flower off. And it doesn't take but just a little bit of glue and it's ready to go. Okay, there's that. And I feel like I need something else up here. I don't think I have, let's, do I have, I don't have any writing on this piece. We have some more over there, but I don't want to open up another pack until I've used all this, so I'm just going to use a label. And I'll probably put a pink one since I've got a little pink in here and a little pink right there. Let's do Frosty the Snowman. These are Melina's labels that she made. And they're in our digital you just go to our website and click on digitals and you'll you'll find these they're in all different colors hmm. I think that will work this is just a simple little piece but you could do lots more to it if you wanted to this is gonna work for me whoops there we go So now we have this bag that's ready to go in our journal. And it'll be a pocket here. And then we're going to cut this open and it'll be another pocket back there. So we'll cover this side with something as well. I may use part of this to cover that side with. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? I don't mind pink and red together. I just don't want to cut my deer, so I may just cut that part okay why don't we go ahead and do it if you guys are tired of watching me you can just cut me off I'm gonna go ahead and do this one and I'm not gonna worry about it being straight or accurate cutting or anything like that oh I'm gonna oh well my little deer's gonna lose an antler I'm sorry little deer Okay, I think we're going to put that down, but I'm going to put a piece of book page behind it. Just because I want book page to show through. So, let me find a piece that's big enough. I think I'll put this piece behind it. This is out of one of those little shiny books, but it's not going to matter. It's going to be glued to the back anyway. Yeah, let's put that right there. And then, we'll glue... A rice paper on top of it. Oh, did you see that glob of glue? Glob of glue. Oh my goodness. That's what you get when you press so hard that you break your glue off. Okay, the postman just knocked on my door and scared me. I wasn't expecting her this early. She usually doesn't run this early. Okay, that looks like it's glued down. Let's go ahead and put some glue on here. Now you, you don't have to use a paintbrush. You can use whatever you have, a sponge, or put it on there and wipe it with your fingers, whatever. I just like using the paintbrush. Helps me get a little bit more on there. I hope she didn't need me to come to the door, because I'm busy. some here and we'll wipe that in. There we go. And if it wrinkles, don't worry about it because that just adds to the texture of it. Cute. I like that.
Now, I have a little bit of paper showing right there, but I don't, that doesn't bother me. I'll put a label or something over there. But that is another little rice paper adventure there. You can see my book page through that. Isn't that pretty? All right, guys, I think that's the video for the t day. I need to go to the door because I got a postman out there knocking on my door wanting me to come and sign something probably. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.